A senior member of the Financial Services Committee, Mr. Scott. Gentleman from uh, Georgia, Mr. Scott is recognized for two minutes. Uh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen on the floor, people all across this nation, if you listen to my Republican friends, you would think we're not in a crisis. We're in a terrible crisis. Just think, 42 million Americans that had jobs just 14 weeks ago no longer have those jobs. Their homes are on the verge of being foreclosed. They need our help. Yes, you're right, gentlemen from Michigan. We did pass this bill in the HEROES Act, but your leader over there says, let's pause. This is the wrong time for this nation to pause. This is a crisis. And let me tell you something. It's a crisis in terms of health, but it is also a crisis in terms of our great economy going down. And the great pillars of our economy are home ownership, real estate values, and the security of our banking system. That's what's at stake here. So it makes sense for us to move. You don't think with 42 million Americans no longer working, they're not going to be able to pay for their mortgages? They're not going to be able to keep the water on. The, the electricity on, the utilities, they're coming due already. And so I want to say to you that when Mitch, Senator McConnell says put a pause on it, this nation stands in horror when we see this epidemic already creating 42 million jobless people, but now I'm burdening us with a revival of an additional thrust of this pandemic. Nothing is more important than showing the American people we care about them. And we can't tell them to keep in their homes if they don't have a home. I Thank urge you. my Republican friends. I have yielded to the gentleman extra time. His time has expired. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir.